If you're going through a spiritual awakening, it's highly likely during this period that you will get a lot of conflict or challenges when it comes to people around you. People around you not understanding you. People around you not agreeing with you. A lot of different a disconnect or chaos or maybe friends or family members that you're very close to who no longer seem to be serving you in your path of enlightenment. And you may be a little bit confused right now to how to balance that out. So in this video, what I'd like to share with you is a very simple way to be able to balance those energies out so you don't get affected by it, how you should look at it. Should you really disconnect? Should you leave them? Should you go on your own journey? Or should you take them along the journey with you? So we're gonna break it down in this video. But before we get into it, show real. Hit it. What's up guys? Namaste. This is Sri Akashana here. And in this video, what I wanted to break down for you is a few things when it comes to spiritual awakening and dealing with people. And I recently wrote a post on Instagram. Um, those of you who are not following the Instagram channel, make sure to follow the Instagram channel. We do a daily posts on there for different inspiration as well. Um, and what I wrote was this. I wrote, along the journey of spiritual awakening, you will often encounter people who are connected to your lower consciousness. Now, what does this mean? Understand that all consciousness is in existence within every single one of us. It's just when we decide to dial into a certain vibrational frequency, we are raising our vibrations, therefore raising our consciousness. But it doesn't mean the lower consciousness does not exist. And when that happens, what happens is because it's within us somewhere, it still has an attraction. And that's why even though we are progressing through our spiritual journey, it's highly likely that at times we will still attract people who are related to our, what we think, our past vibration, right? People who we're very familiar with or actions or attitude or personalities we're very familiar with, with that relates to what we attracted in the past. Okay, and then what I wrote was, this is a test for you. This is a test from the universe to see whether you are actually ready for the big awakening, for more rewards and awards to come your way, more miracles to be manifested along the way, or to test you to see if actually you're not quite ready yet. Now, then what I went on to write is, in a situation like that, do you interact or can you actually stay congruent with your higher frequencies do you start interacting with them what i mean is it could be the case that you're just trying to bring them along the journey you're trying to tell them that hey by the way you're living the wrong way <laughs> you should uh, learn the more conscious way or do you actually stay congruent with your frequencies now why is this very important to understand because i go on to say the love in you wants to bring them along the journey. Now, I know that comes from a lot of love, right? You care for them. That's why you want to bring them along the journey, right? And then the ego mind fights. No, it's just the word fight. In attempt to get them to understand you. Think about that a moment. How many of you have ever been in that situation before where you are, you are the positive one, they're the negative one. In the midst of trying to make them turn positive, you became negative, like you actually felt frustrated, maybe angry or maybe upset that they didn't understand you, right? Emotional. So if you are in a fight like that, guess who won that fight? Did you manage to bring them along the journey or did they manage to change your vibrational frequency and take you down to the same level of vibrational frequency that they're at? Then what I wrote was, in the midst of the fight, you realize that you've not only lost the battle, but you've came out of alignment. 
and return to their level of consciousness, which is also your past level of consciousness. So what does this mean? In summary, it means that you didn't really pass the test. You're not progressing now because every time you're progressing, you keep getting pulled back because I know what it is. You, you, you're thinking, no, I'm not trying to get pulled back. It's the love and care you have for the people. But then there's also this saying that says elevation requires separation. Now, I know some of you won't like the sound of that separation. I don't want to separate with these people. But understand that sometimes these things is best for you and it's best for them. Why is it best for you? It's best for you because if you allow yourself to space to grow into the higher levels of consciousness and vibrational frequencies, you will be the most powerful you. We always say love starts from self-love. If you become the most powerful energy of love and positivity, guess what? Naturally, it will be healing and it will start affecting the people around you. Why will it be best for them? Because understand, everybody needs to go through their own journey. You cannot force somebody to awaken now just because you want them to. That is your need, your desire. They always say, when the student is ready, the teacher appears. So allow them for their space to grow and to learn from it. And think about how did you get your awakening? How did you come to learn? And most likely, it was because you learned from falling over a few times. There was some chaos that happened in your life. There were some challenges that you overcome. But you had to go through that experience to be able to learn to get to where you are now. So why are we not allowing people for their experience? So the art of allowing, acceptance, you grow, self-love, become very powerful, it'll naturally heal the world. And at the same time, allow other people to go on their journey too. You do you, they do them, and you do the best of you. That's the best contribution you can make to the world right now. If this video has enlightened you in any way, awakened you in any way, or just added to your spiritual tool belt of consciousness and knowledge, please do hit the thumbs up, hit the like button. Also, comment below. Let us know where you guys have tuned in from. That's always nice to know. And finally, if you're new to this channel and you haven't already, remember, remember to hit that subscribe button and the notifications button next to it. That's a little bell sign, right? Because this year, I'm dedicated to making daily videos to hold you accountable to make it your best year yet. But for now, guys, I'm signing out. Namaste. Ciao.